Thanks for joining us this morning on our Community Connection Spotlight. Joining me is Mr. Harold Spildy and Judy Erickson with Fish. We're here to talk about a very important dinner, um, but first I'd like to know a little bit more about Fish. Can you tell me what, what Fish aims to do? Yes, Fish is an emergency food program provided uh, uh, food to families in crisis. We're similar to Salvation Army and St. Vincent, not as well known as those agencies are, but we provide the same services they do. So clients come with a referral slip and we provide them with the food uh, that they need for the family. Wow, and um, FISH has been an organization for a number of years in the Great Falls area. Probably for over 40 years now. They started out as a crisis center doing everything, but now the, it, it was much demand that's just strictly food now. Okay, so moving on to, to the f Loaves and Fishes dinner, can you guys tell me um, what you hope attendees take away from the night? Well, besides having a delicious salmon dinner, and it's a gourmet salmon loaf that we have. Uh, they also have a chance to learn more about fish. They have the opportunity to participate in a raffle. Uh, just a lot of good family fun. Okay, sure. Are there going to be um, any uh, special raffles in the dinner or um, silent auctions? Silent auction, mm -hmm. and there is a raffle as well. Okay, what are some prizes that people can expect to see in the silent auction? Anything you guys are looking forward to seeing? We have several baskets from, from the churches in the, in the food program, and so uh, they'll bring, uh, we'll have those as silent auction items, and then we'll have two or three raffle items that we sell tickets on the raffle for, uh, baskets for those. Okay, great. Now, can you give us an idea of what churches have partnered to put on this event? There's about 13 churches, uh, uh, several Lutheran churches, uh, UCC, Methodist, Episcopal, uh, so Presbyterian. there's a Presbyterian and then a service club Wiseman which is the service club of the YMC before they closed and they still continued on. Okay great so it seems like it's going to be a night um, a very packed night yeah, with uh, yeah. a lot of different churches there. Yeah, it's a very Wiseman. ecumenical group so it really works out well for us. Sure and how much are tickets to this event now? We don't have tickets it's all free will offering. And we find people are so generous that that really works better. Very neat. And it has been obviously supported by the community through many years. Has proceeds from this event been able to support FISH's operations through the fiscal year? or It's, a, it's part of a bigger yeah. reality, mm -hmm. but it, it certainly is very helpful. We think last year we raised, uh, after uh, 17 years, uh, it's not a big funder, but we reached $100,000, which is uh, really beneficial to FISH over the years. Definitely, I'm sure, and beneficial to the programs yes. FISH serves. That's mm -hmm. amazing. Um, is there anything else that you'd like attendees to know about the evening? or? Well, if they can't attend the dinner and they wish to make a contribution to the f help support the dinner, it's a FISH uh, PO Box 662, uh, Great Falls, and 59403, if they can't attend the dinner and wish to support the FISH program dinner. Oh. And we also have two seatings. Okay, great. That's good to know, mm -hmm. definitely. Um, and then you can find all that information as well on our KRTV KXLH Facebook pages. Thank you both for being here today. Really appreciate you guys coming on this morning. Thank you for letting us Thank come. Thank you for being here.